forward. Okay, now you've been on a story that we've been on for several months now. That's this TSA story. We're missing badges for some of our biggest airports in the country, Hartsfield International, Atlanta, and others, um, turned up missing. And we're still trying to figure out why this happened and what the state of that story is. Do you have an update that you can tell us as to whether or not this has been resolved by the TSA? We've been trying to get information for a long time, Bill, from TSA, starting back in March when some of these revelations first broke. But it's clear that people who have these CIDA badges, these secure identification display area badges, employees at airports, uh, we're using them to bring prohibited items, in some cases weapons, through. And so everybody, I think, is familiar with the procedures that we use to screen passengers, but these are procedures that are used to screen employees. And there have been these examples at some of these major airports of lost and stolen badges and people using these badges to get prohibited items through. So we've been trying to get to the bottom of it and uh, have been very frustrated that TSA has not been furnishing the information that we need uh, to, to understand exactly what's happened, what needs to be fixed. They tell us that the airports self-report these things, that they have audits, regular audits, but we haven't been able to get any evidence that TSA uses those uh, or gets documentation of those audits or uses those for enforcement. Uh, just a lot of unanswered questions that yeah. need to be answered. This is a real vulnerability that we have at some of our major airports. Is the TSA hiding something, yes or no? I don't know. They, they say that there are certain uh, sensitive security information that they can't make available to the public, but the fact of the matter is they're not making it available to us. And as members of Congress, we have the oversight responsibility to ensure that these uh, areas are secure. Uh, they have that responsibility. They need to do oversight. We need to do oversight. And if we don't have the information about what's currently being done or what those procedures are, what information is being collected, how it's being used, whether or not it's being used to enforce uh, the, the rules that they say are in place, Understood. then, um, you know, that's, uh, th th it just leaves this thing, I think, wide open to, to abuse and, and, and vulnerability.